Praise God, brethren. Good morning, please. Good morning. Good morning. Introduce I'm yourself. Also, I'm also fine. So I'm Reverend Patrick Benjamin Mabala. I'm so grateful this morning uh, to be in this fraternity of world class cities. Tell them where you're from, please. I come from Uganda, and uh, world class cities in Uganda is doing better. They all sent me with greetings to you. Amen. Amen. Uh, this morning I also introduced my wife, uh, Beatrice Mabala, who is uh, a missionary in Southern Sudan. We've seen God using her in that country, and we believe that God will keep doing a better work in that nation. This morning, uh, when uh, uh, President Bill asked me to share with us uh, morning devotion, as I was praying, the Lord uh, took me uh, to uh, and uh, gave me a message uh, about our desires as ministers. Uh, ministers of the Lord, uh, we have very many things that we want to see God uh, work through us and uh, use us in this timing. So in our generation, there could be also desires that we have in our hearts. So I will be sharing with us some scriptures that could be encouraging and that uh, could be asking us to devote more of ourselves to the desires that could be uplifting our ministries and what the Lord wants to fulfill in our timing and in our season. So I will begin by reading a scripture in the book of Psalms and uh, in Psalms chapter 73 verse 25 the Bible says whom, I ha whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. The Bible says that if there is anything that is in the earth that we can have as desire as, as servants of God, there is nothing that can be besides God. I know as ministers, there are things that sometimes we want to see fulfilled even as uh, we keep ministering, we yearn to see God do this good, do the other. But this morning, the Lord was asking me to share with us and that be informed that there is nothing that is better for us to desire in this earth besides himself. Uh, naturally, we will de desire many things that uh, will always want to meet the goals of our vision, the goals of the needs around us. But the Lord wants us to, have to be filled of him more than being filled of any other thing. Now, there should be a spiritual thirst for you to fulfill and have the desire of having God to be in you fully. And that thirst is what the Lord wants us to have. Of course, Amos said in the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11, days are coming, and this could be the days that uh, he declares the sovereign Lord, when the days are coming, when I will send a famine through the land, and not a famine of food or a thirst of water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. You see, when you have a desire and that you have, you engage yourself in a thirst to have the word of God in you, then you will have God fill you. You will have the thirst that is godly. The, you will have the hunger that is godly. That hunger that God fills me. That hunger that makes you feel that there is nothing else, though important they could be for your livelihood, but there is nothing else more than himself. For if, if God is in you, if God has filled you up, then there is nothing else that you will be lacking. And he says that you will be, he is your shepherd. In Psalms 23 we says that God is my shepherd. I will lack nothing. So when you are filled with God, the issues of feeling a lot of lack, a lot of, there is a satisfaction that God gives. So brethren, this morning, as we are sharing, even as Amos prophesied that way, 
uh, the promises of, uh, of God concerning his satisfactions are many. When we see what the Bible says in Psalms chapter 1 or 8, the Bible says, uh, some, uh, Psalms 1 or 3 verse 5, Who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? It's God who can satisfy even the lives of those who are youthful. When you see in youthfulness there are many things that you really want to have. Sometimes in ministry we begin, where uh, ministries begin in youthful, in childhood. You see there are many things that you want. You want God to do this and the other and it's like what will happen. But if you focus and have your desire and your hunger is focused on God, he will always fulfill the desires of the good things. There are many good things that the Lord wants to do for us. In Psalms 107 it says, For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. So this morning there could be some things that we have been asking God to do. Even in our prayer, yesterday we were praying and saying, God, do this, do good things. Bring our brethren who are coming to this uh, 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 seminar. Bring uh, the, 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 the community around. Let them get be filled. The thirst of God about this land. The thirst of God about this community. Let them be filled. If they can only focus on who God is, then they will always be satisfied with what God is going to do. So even as I'm yet to finish, the spiritual thirst will always be satisfied. God has no promise that he never fulfills. So the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 14, But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. And indeed, the water I give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. So the purpose and the goal for us to receive of the word of God so that God quenches the thirst is nothing else other than to find ourselves with that eternity. That eternity in our lives that can allow us to enjoy ministry, enjoy who God is, enjoy the brotherhood, the fraternity of the Lord the, in the kingdom that you will feel satisfied. If God is ruling, God is reigning in our lives, then this morning I believe that we will have a wonderful time in our ministry. We will have a wonderful time ministering even through the hardships because the satisfaction of God and the peace of God is not as the earth or as the world giveth, but it is as he giveth it. He knows exactly what we want. He knows, he says, even before you pray, I know what you want. So this morning, brethren, we are in a very good position of believing that our thirst for God and our hunger for him will surely satisfy, satisfy us with the good things that we want to have. May God this morning bless us with the good things that we are going to enjoy as we keep serving the Almighty. So with that, I believe the Lord has spoken to your heart. And we can just take our time to tell God we really want you to satisfy us today. We really want you to satisfy us this week. May this mission in Tanzania, Arusha, satisfy the hearts of those who will be listening to us, seeing an example of the disciples that he has sent to them in this week. So God will surely bless you. Let us stand up. And that we just pray in the, some few words, with your own words. Thank God for the satisfaction. Just check out your thirst and uh, uh, believe God is going to fulfill and satisfy you in whatever that you really desire. God bless you. So this morning, as you pray, then in one minute, then I will finish it and sum it up uh, with a, uh, a prayer of togetherness. Amen.
Hallelujah. Father, we come Father, together we want to believe you. Jehovah we thank you, Lord God. There are many good, good things that Lord Father, Father we want to see you happen and to us and to this ministry. Today, what blessed it is and even the nation that you have gathered here. Lord, you Lord, have blessed us to be in Tanzania. As we pray for the good, Father, leadership and governance through the electoral process in this country. Lord, we praise you, Father, for those who are taking care of us. That even as we go to churches, Lord, Father, that you will, Father, use us. You will involve us, Almighty God. Lord, we worship you that you will reign, that you will rule all God's glory. We give you the praise for the Lord. We give you the minister to the Lord. That can be a fountain of life for the Holy Spirit. We give you the words to the people. We bring to the remembrance of the people. We give you the desire for every Lord. We say, have those things in your heart. We desire ministry. We desire with others, O Lord, that we might expand the mind. We extend the kingdom of Jesus. Christ, the love of God, be in our hearts and our minds as we call upon you. We thank you for their ministry, O Lord, in Jesus' Loving Father, we want to exalt you, King of Kings. We thank you for how you have gathered these nations around this table. Lord, even outside there, Lord, we know that you're going to use us. We pray that mighty God of glory, that Father, let your will, let your glory be seen as we go forth ministering. Lord, we praise you for even, Father, as you minister to the souls. Father, as you win souls for your own glory, for your own kingdom. Father, we pray that, Jehovah, you will accomplish your work. Lord, we want to praise you for every minister that you have given today a pulpit. Lord, we pray that it becomes a position for you to exemplify yes. your glory. Yes, Let your Shekinah come down. Yes. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless you, King of Kings. Father, even as you heal people, as you deliver many, as you set them free, Father, that you will put down the enemy under the feet of the saints. Father, we thank you. Even as a team, we say that, Lord, let you fulfill what you want to be fulfilled. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and believed. Amen. 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 Thank Praise you. the Lord. Okay. Amen.